good morning. Uh, I'm Yasuyuki Yoshida uh, from Center for Cultural Resource Studies, uh, Kansai University, Japan. I'm talking about uh, this topic, uh, and I'm also talking, of, talking about something uh, in, con in conjunction with cell uh, rising and the uh, general theme of this conference uh, time. So firstly, look at the, uh, these images. Of, uh, this is a visualization of uh, prehistoric people in Japan. And uh, both of them are similar to each other, particularly uh, hairstyle and outfit. But the left one is, uh, was created in the late 19th century. <coughs> and the right one was created in the late 20th century. But through, uh, during one century, uh, diverse images were created. So uh, through the examination of this topic, uh, I will talk about theorizing uh, of visualization. So I'm suggesting four keywords to think about this topic. Uh, firstly, modernist views uh, of 19th century. Uh, one of the roots of Japanese archaeology uh, stems from uh, the modern, uh, pre-modern antiquarian. So uh, at the 19th century, uh, yeah, these, these artifacts uh, were well known uh, between the public. So what are these? And uh, what are these artifacts? And uh, who made and <coughs> left these artifacts? and how to reconstruct uh, the ancient life between, uh, based on this artifact, uh, already hot topic. So uh, this image is uh, picked up from uh, Fuzoku Gaho uh, in 1895. Uh, this journal, Fuzoku Gaho, uh, is, uh, uh, was the first graphic magazine of Japan. And uh, this uh, cover image of this journal uh, represents uh, the socio-political landscape uh, in the late 19th century. Uh, this title of this issue uh, does mean uh, the graphic ex explanation of the Taiwan barbarian of being a population. So I had to translate. So, so in, the 19th, in the late 19th century, uh, Imperial Japan uh, the territory was expanding uh, to continental East Asia and uh, Southeast Asia islands. So this image was supervised by uh, Shogoro Tsuboi. So uh, his uh, gorgeous mustache and uh, outfit <laughs> uh, represents the modernists uh, of the 19th century of Japan. So uh, yeah, Westernized style is represents uh, modernist of Japan. So he founded uh, the anthropological course at Tokyo Imperial University, uh, the capital city of Japan. And uh, he studied in the UK uh, for several years. And uh, during his stay, uh, he often visited the British Museum. And, uh, and he supervised uh, uh, controversial Gakujutsu Jinrui-kan anthropological pavilion, uh, which planned to host a uh, live display of ethnic minority as the uh, Osaka exhibition. So this means uh, to bring uh, minority people to the pavilion and uh, to, uh, like to host a live display. But uh, this kind of exhibition was done in the Western countries of uh, the beginning of the modern era. So the ins this uh, plan was to crit criticize and cancel it. And, but instead, uh, he supervised making of uh, ethnic figurines like this and satisfi satisfied his curiosities. And he uh, advocated a hypothesis uh, Stone Age people was uh, Kolopoko. Kolopoko is a mystical dwarf in Ain folklore uh, living under the leaf, a uh, leaf. So, so Ainu uh, is an uh, indigenous people uh, in Japan, uh, living in the uh, northern peripheral part of Japan. So you can see this image uh, supervised by Shogoro Tsuboi. Uh, the, this fish is too big. But in his hypothesis, uh, ancient people should be small. So this uh, fish uh, looks too big. 
So, but his uh, his visualization uh, is based on the uh, actual uh, archaeological findings at the time. So, second keyword is uh, post-war narrative. Uh, the prehistoric archaeology uh, during the war uh, was a part of myth uh, in the Imperial Japan. So, post-war. Uh, Instead of myths, uh, more rational and a more scientific view uh, lies. Hmm? Lies, those. I don't know. So, anyway, uh, evolutionists. So, uh, under these circumstances, uh, this kind of uh, image appeared. Uh, primitive, primitive man appeared in Japan in 1955. So, but also, uh, the post-war uh, visualization uh, was created by the interaction with uh, Western scholars. The influence, under the influences of Western scholars, uh, this uh, image uh, is uh, based, on, upon, uh, based upon the deconstructed drawing of Peking Man, but we see people by French archaeologists. Uh, this image was picked up from uh, a history textbook for junior high school in 1956. Uh, this image is also a uh, history textbook for junior high school, but this image uh, is obviously a carbon copy of Anne uh, Bray uh, beyond the bounds of history in 1949. The reflection image is uh, very similar to each other uh, with no uh, difference. So, uh, yeah, uh, archaeology is focusing on, main, mainly focusing on uh, prehistoric era. Uh, in Japan, uh, prehistoric era was divided into four periods, Paleolithic, German period, Era period, and Kohen period based on the uh, developing in uh, many aspects, for example, tools, from stone tools to uh, metal age. And the economic, economic base is hunter gatherer base uh, into uh, rice farming system uh, was imported from the uh, neighboring neighboring Konyan Peninsula and uh, developed uh, rice farming and uh, created the uh, huge tomb for the uh, single person. So uh, social structure was uh, understood uh, from developing from agrarian society to chief down to early state. So based on this understanding, uh, this kind of image uh, was created. It's a German people. And uh, uh, this one is uh, half-naked German people was surprised at rice brought by uh, sophisticated Yale people uh, from Korean Peninsula. So yeah, this one is influenced by the uh, social revolutionism. And the uh, third keyword is uh, <coughs> obduration, uh, which does mean uh, resistance to change. This also uh, half-naked Jomo people uh, is making Jomo pottery, uh, appeared in the school textbook in 1956. But this image uh, was still used in 1980. So, uh, and this image is uh, based on the Czech uh, archaeologist and illustrator uh, prehistoric man in 1962 uh, based on uh, local Centre, France. So uh, this image appeared in school textbook uh, in 1980. And the uh, Japanese school textbook uh, needed to pass governmental screening. Uh, in the screening system, uh, principally uh, school textbook should be revised. But in, in many cases, a version <laughs> uh, passed uh, the screening at once uh, is the starting point of uh, carbon copies. <coughs> so this image uh, appears <coughs> again and again, uh, for example, in 1983 school textbooks. And uh, school textbooks in 1987 and uh, 1989 and 1992 and 1996. And survived the 20th century and appeared in 2001. So, uh, 
last keyword is uh, archaeological discovery. Uh, yeah, many artifacts uh, are found from are found in uh, prehistoric site. Uh, this one is Lucy Lacquard Com, approximately dated back to approximately 6,000 BP. But in front of the museum uh, stores this collection. Uh, this guy is standing on. So, uh, yeah, I, I've heard one keyword in this conference, uh, counterfactual uh, <coughs> narrative. So probably this guy represents uh, counterfactual uh, narratives. So, uh, yeah, but uh, in 1986, uh, German family life uh, with this cover page uh, was published. So uh, this visualization was supervised by Shuzo Koyama, ethnoarchaeologist, and the editor of Affluent Foragers. And the uh, illustrator was uh, Sahoko Aki. Uh, I, I just interviewed them and, uh, the, about the making process uh, of this image. Uh, their attempt uh, is to, how to say, uh, Visualization should be based on archaeological findings uh, with no biased view as far as they can. And uh, uh, the, the, I'd say another, uh, another aim, uh, another their aim uh, is to put a color on visualization. So they, uh, they are seeking uh, the colors based on archaeological findings. And uh, they thought uh, the red and black uh, can be used uh, with some confidence. Uh, this artifact uh, found in uh, archaeological site dated back 6,000 BP and 3,000 BP. So they consequently created uh, the visualization uh, based on uh, archaeological findings as well as uh, 19th century Shogo Tsuboi and uh, uh, with uh, black and red. <coughs> and they created uh, these images, uh, prehistoric people, people's festive. So based on the um, uh, current uh, tradition festival, uh, yeah, inspired, by, inspired by current, current traditional festival. Oh, like this. So at the, at the mid of uh, 1980s, uh, there were no clear evidence that place people uh, utilized uh, such a huge diameter tree. But in the mid of 1990s, uh, under the rescue excavation, uh, two huge pit hole, pit hole uh, was discovered. So this said uh, back to uh, 5,000 BP. I don't know, uh, the based on the pit holes, uh, this kind of uh, architecture was reconstructed. So <coughs> in a sense, in a sense, uh, in, in this case, uh, archaeological discovery uh, followed uh, their archaeological imagination. So uh, when the second edition of this book was published, uh, they replaced uh, the cover image uh, from uh, naked Jomo family to uh, prehistoric family uh, with uh, outfit. So uh, it's a it's a conclusion. Uh, uh, to sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the visualization visual, visualizing prehistoric people uh, started started with uh, the recognition. Uh, that uh, prehistoric people was ethnic others and temporal others. Uh, in Shogo Tsubo's case, uh, they are uh, Kolpoku, Miska Dwarf, uh, with a uh, modernist view, uh, includes imperialist and a colonialist view, <coughs> passed as others. And then uh, post war, uh, the visualizing prehistoric people changed drastically uh, based on uh, social revolutionism. Uh, at that time, uh, the 
recognition is uh, history leads to today's self. But they are, these images are ethnic self, but temporal and developed self. So, uh, so this image, this kind of image is start, starting point of obduracy to resist changes. So uh, even in 2011, uh, we can see same half naked prehistoric people. And based on archaeological discoveries, uh, as an archaeologist uh, suggested uh, other kind of image. So uh, with black and red outfit. So, but this image is also a static point of obduracy. Uh, we have now a similar image, uh, a kind of carbon copies of this uh, image. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I want to say, uh, yeah, visualization of uh, place people uh, should be based on archaeological di discoveries principally, but in fact, other three factors influences the visualization. And uh, uh, I, I, I will say uh, something uh, in, con in conjunction with uh, general theme of this conference time. So, yeah, this image. I would say, uh, this guy is a contemporary primary school boy with uh, school bags with a mobile phone. Meets uh, half-naked plastic people, <coughs> but they have same face. So maybe this one is, uh, what does it mean? So yeah, this boy can regard uh, this boy as a human uh, shares common I say, time passage or uh, time sense uh, <coughs> underpinned by evolution. It's a, I say, uh, it's a short comment to general theme of time. So uh, that's my attempt to theorizing of visualization. Thank you very much.